Hey folks, so this week we're talking about how to create your speech. And so um, we've talked about how writing for public speaking is different than writing for an English class, and that's really important to keep in mind. Um, but right now I want to talk to you guys about having a specific purpose for your speech. So maybe you've been to a speech where you sat there and at the end of it you're like, well, that was interesting, but what? Um, and so we want to avoid that. I think it's really important. I don't just think it's really important. Your text says that it's really important to have a clear, focused goal for your speech. And so they call this the specific purpose. And in the outline for this class, you're going to have to identify what that specific purpose is. And so I want to define what a specific purpose is for you all because I'm a stickler for that um, because I think it's really important. So the specific purpose is a clear and measurable behavioral objective I know it's a lot clear measurable behavioral objective that you have for the audience and it has to be all those things okay so um, so for example um, if it's a persuasive speech what do you want them to do at the end of your persuasive speech like you might have a lot of really great facts and and you know some strong evidence some compelling evidence but at the end of that what are they supposed to do with that do you want them to vote for something do you want them to um, act on some sort of change do you want them to talk to other people about it or do you just want them to want to seek out more information so whatever it is it needs to be a behavioral action um and a measurable action because how do you know if you've succeeded if you can't measure it so this gets kind of sticky in an informative speech like um some people in an informative speech their specific purpose they'll want it to be like talking about knowledge right so in an informative speech maybe you want to teach people more about um anime anime stuff and so how do you measure if they know what you've taught them does that make sense so maybe you've taught them three things about anime and so your specific purpose in that case would be by the end of my speech the audience would be able to list three facts about anime or three different types of anime um characters right so it needs to be more specific than just um i want them to know about this specific thing like they need to be able to list it they need to be able to describe it they need to be able to perform the action so if you're teaching them how to change the tire on a car the specific purpose would be by the end of my speech the audience will be able to change a tire on the car um and that's just you know really specific um and so that's what a specific purpose is it's that measurable behavioral objective you have for the audience